Hello everyone, this is Red Nation back to another video. And today we are actually not playing anything. I'm doing my first ever tutorial. Hooray! Anyway, in this video, if you can tell by the title, I will be teaching you not only how to install mods, not only how to install mods for for 1.8.9 and lower and up as well. But also how to increase your RAM, which will make your Minecraft go faster. First up, first up, open up your internet browser. This is the Forge part of the tutorial, by the way. Select any version of Forge that you want. For this video, we're going to be using the 1.8.9 version. Now, I normally just download the latest because I normally nothing's ever wrong with it but if you don't want to that's perfectly fine any others will work as long as it's 1.8.9 click on installer now you have to wait approximately five five seconds for forge to do all of its good goody good two shoe stuff and press skip now it's going to take you now it's going to download bam now it's done now, I normally just have to click on it, but for those who can't, right click, okay, or drag it onto your desktop. Okay, seriously. Open with Java TM pl Platform SE Binary. Just keep it on install client, install server, don't, don't click on anything else, just keep it on install client. Press OK. Wait for it to load, and it successfully installed it. Press OK. Now what you want to do is go over to the Minecraft launcher, edit profile, and you'll see something like this. Now I have a lot of versions installed right now, so yours is probably going to be a little bit different. And so just click on the version that you want. Press save profile. Press play. And now what you're going to have to do is wait for Minecraft to load. Because right now mine's going to take a little bit longer. Because I actually decided to record this video on the spot. Because one of my friends needed help. And so yeah. DecoCraft and all that stuff are separate mods. They are not part of Forge, and you do not require them. I want to make that clear, okay? Now, while that's going, we're gonna... I'm actually gonna open up the Minecraft launcher again. Hopefully it'll let me. There it goes. Now what you want to do is click on Edit Profile again. This is the part where we go to change... Where we go to increase your... The RAM dedicated to Minecraft, which will make it go faster. Now, I actually have about 16 gigs of memory on this computer, and I put hate, and I put half of it. So, what you want to do is that, see this little part, you want to enable J J JVM arguments, because that will originally be turned off. Now, you see this beginning part right here? This dash XMX, it's going to originally say 1G. Replace that 1G with about, what I did was about half my RAM. And I don't really want to go into how to find out how much RAM you have because I'm just lazy. <laughs> and if I remember, and what this is going to say right here at the end, you're going to want to change that too because it's originally going to say 1 to 8. And basically how you do it, because I'm really bad at math, is find your calculator on your computer. And ignore the fact that I messed up. <laughs> yeah. You want to go 1 to 8. Uh times the amount 
that you're putting in was next to this G. So for me, it was 8. Press equals. Bam. That's all you have to do. Replace. Put this number right, right here before the M. And then press save profile. And bam, your Minecraft should be running a lot faster and it should be crashing a lot less. Now, this should be loaded by now, and indeed it is. Now, you'll notice that on mine, it says 13 mods loaded, 13 mods active. Yours is not going to say that. Yours is probably going to say 3 mods loaded, 3 mods active. Because it because the original mod that it comes with is Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. Now, what you want to do is press Quick Game. Now, search percent app data percent and click on the roaming folder. Go into dot Minecraft and you should have a folder called mods. Go into this folder. As you see, I have a lot of mods in here. Now, whatever mod you had, such as Let's say the slash and blade mod that I'm using in this video. What you're going to want to do is, let me create a new folder real quick. Is, is actually drag and drop your mod, but it has to be the same version as your forge version in order for it to work. So let's say if I try and play a 1.8.9 mod on a 1.7.10 forge it's gonna either a crash the game or say oh that it's not gonna it it's not gonna let you do it basically press x play wait for it to load up i normally just watch a video in the background if you don't have a powerful enough computer grab your ipad or something like that and as you see, it's loading really fast right now because there's only one mod. It'll load, depending on what mods you have and how many you have, it'll load a little bit slower. But don't worry, just wait for it and just wait it out. And if you go to mods, now you have slash blade done and done. And that's how you install. You install Minecraft Forge and how you install mods as well as increased Minecraft memory. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. And I'm also I also have I I'm also working on a new mod called called Fafnir Protector of the Stars. If you want to help out with that, I'll also leave the link to the video in the description below. And until next time, stay awesome, Dragonaut.